Hello, my friends, and now I'm going to read you my story about pink little elephants. This story is by me and my daughters, and illustrated by dearest artist Mohamed Bayraktar. And I dedicated this book to all tiny little adventurers like our tiny little pink elephant, because. You must know that every adventure requires a departure and sometimes it's quite painful to miss what you left behind. High above in the sky there was the kingdom of pink little clouds and there lived a tiny little pink elephant. He was not only the tiniest but also the most curious one ever lived in the kingdom of pink, pink little clouds. He was curious about everything and when he had the chance to ask God, what is it like the kingdom on earth, swans were going to ask. And they told our tiny little pink elephant that there were other elephants on the earth too, but they were not pink and they didn't have the wings. And he was so curious about not pink, not wingy elephants who live in the kingdom of earth and he began to look down to the earth and one day he stared and looked so much that he fell from the kingdom of pink little clouds to the earth he had so tiny so little wings that he was not able to fly back to his kingdom but he didn't hit to the earth he, he fell slowly and when he came to the earth, he wandered around and he found the elephants on our world. They were huge and grey. And there were other animals too, zebras and more elephants, and they were very friendly. Making friends but nice. It was not enough for him to feel at home. He stared at the sky, knowing that he is absolutely at the place where he wanted to be so much, but he missed home. There was a huge mountain, and he thought if he climbs at the top of that mountain, he can fly back to his home. He tried though, but he was still a very little and a very tiny elephant, and his wings were not strong enough carry him back to his home. He could see the kingdom of pink little clouds. Even seeing his family and his kingdom was nice. And he thought that he could even see his friends too. He shouted and screamed, but nor him and neither his voice was able to reach out to his home. So he went back to the earth and felt so sad. His many friends saw his sadness and told him that maybe if he, if he can stay and wander and eat and sleep, he can grow bigger. And there were other rules in the kingdom of earth to be learned, they said. We have warm winds around our mountains, said the zebra. And to climb and try, you should drink and eat more and sleep well, said the camel. And there is still so much to see, said all his friends. It made him feel comfortable while wandering around and learning and even making friends from safari car and some human masks. He ate well and slept well and learned about the rules in the kingdom on earth. He was lucky to have all those wise friends. One day, he felt lucky and strong. It was springtime and there were many warm winds around. And he slept well before climbing at the top of the mountain and his wings were feeling a lot more bigger. After climbing at the top, he opened his wings wide and with the help of warm wind, he was able to fly to the heights. He could fly so high that he could eventually succeed to return home. It was
was so good to see all of his friends and family again. He had so much to tell. And it was so warm for his tiny little heart to feel at home again. Time passed for him to realize how much he missed his friends and the kingdom of earth. It was so confusing for him to miss the two kingdoms. Nothing to worry, as he was strong and wise enough to fly, wander and return the two kingdoms whenever he wants now. It is the end of our story. I hope to see all my friends, all of you, in our next stories. Goodbye.